Okay, the combined circuit that we've given you um, involves four exercises. And the first exercise is to hold a squat position, like so. So get the knees to about 90 degrees, like they are here. And then we're doing 10 pulls, drawing the elbows back alongside the body, holding the squat position. Now the bands won't hold you, so if I was to fall back, they would let me fall. So you do need to balance yourself, and that means if you're sitting your hips behind your heels, which we want you to do to keep the weight off the toes and to keep it pre predominantly at the back of the foot, then you need to tilt forward with your upper body like this. You can't lean back or they will let you fall back. Now we've talked about you only stepping back three steps from the onset of the resistance. So the resistance onset is here, and I can't in this room obviously step three, four steps back, so two steps is gonna be sufficient for me here. And I can sit and then draw back in this way. And I will do 10 of the paws in squat. The second exercise is to do squats with the arms out in front. And on the information we give you with the PDF, that's written down as a reach, because the arms are reaching forwards. So you sit and you stand up. And we talked about this water skiing position where your hips are forwards and your shoulders are back. So that's the end of the movement. And then sit nice and deep and then back up. So you get a nice, deep, controlled squat. Then we combine the two exercises. So we start the exercise in a squat. And as we stand, we also pull. So squat, pull, squat, pull. The final exercise is a pull with a backward step. So we step back like so, drop it into a lunge. And in this position, the forward leg, my right leg, is the working leg. Because that's holding the position and stopping me from being pulled forwards. So we step back up and then we alternate and step back there. Again, you want the weight on the heel of the forward leg and you would alternate however many times we suggested in that way.